Good evening, and welcome to The Spatials. My name is Modi Aparandis. This is a brand new Let's Play for The Spatials. If you're not familiar with this game, it is a, a kind of building sim game. You basically control a crew who's been sent to an asteroid to uh, develop it into kind of a working civilization. Basically, you'll be designing a space station uh, that will attract visitors and, you know, you can sell things and that kind of thing. Kind of just develop it into a city on an asteroid from nothing. Uh, and there's also an aspect of it where you will go and send your crew on away missions for fun and profit. Uh, it's kind of a combination of a, a theme park builder game and some like real-time combat RPG kind of stuff. So it's really cool. It's kind of interesting. Um, it is in early access right now. It is in 2.4 beta, version 2.4 beta currently. Uh, and it is made by Weird and Rye Games, who is goodly enough to send me a review copy of this so I could test it out and play it on the channel here. So I'm going to do a couple episodes of this at least, because it takes a little bit of time to get going in it, uh, to really see the beauty of it, I think. But, um, yeah, I think without further ado, I think we'll just get into it here and it's easier to explain things as we go. So, let's do a new game here. I played a little bit before we started here just to kind of get myself acclimatized to the game here. Uh, so I'm not completely noob when it comes to this. But uh, I'll still be fumbling around in my typical fashion here, I am sure. Anyways, new game here. So, uh, 5781 AD, Human Federation HQ Earth. Greetings, officer. Your outstanding work as a rank 5 bureaucrat has been noticed by your superiors. You have been chosen to build and lead a new station in an uncharted corner of the galaxy. Explore the surrounding systems and their planets, discover their resources, and deal with any opposition. You have the trust of the Human Federation. So, this is our mission statement here. We're, we're off to uh, explore and uh, deal with opposition. Quote unquote, deal. Anyway, so this is the tutorial bot here, TR-303. We don't really need him. Uh, if you have any questions or anything like that, you can click down here and he can give you some information about uh, using things. The controls took a little bit of getting used to and I'm still not fully used to them, but basically it's right mouse to drag around the screen. You can use the arrow keys to uh, do a quick jump up and down. Not the arrow keys, but the WASD. Um, and then this is your colony. So we have our five colonists who are, are waiting. I don't know if they're really colonists. I'm gonna keep referring to it as a colony. And that's kind of the room world influence on me talking here. Um, but yeah, these are this is our away team, this is our crew basically here. And what we'll be doing here is uh, we'll be sending these guys on missions to uh, learn new things and, and accomplish the tasks and earn us some more money and that kind of thing and items to uh, improve our standing. Um, the first thing we're going to do here, I think, will be to take a look at the station controls here. So these are the different things we can build right now. There is not unlo a lot unlocked here just yet. We will unlock more things as we go and do more missions here. So basically the way you unlock new tech is by going to certain missions that have uh, tech unlocks. So let's take a look here quick. We have the corridors. These connect different rooms. So you have to always put a corridor down between rooms. And that's kind of how it differentiates things. You can't have two rooms butting up against each other. Uh, you need to have a corridor separating them. So we'll put a corridor just like right there. We'll put make it very, very short. And uh, someone will come over there and work on that. Takes a little bit of time, they'll build that out, and now we have our first corridor. The other thing here is, the only really thing we have unlocked so far are the corridors. We have security gates, which uh, I haven't used actually, I haven't gotten that far in the game to reuse these, but uh, they restrict passage to certain areas of the station. Here's the spaceport, where this is where ships will dock and bring visitors to the uh, the station here. Uh, there's the warehouse. We'll, we'll get into this a little bit later too, but this basically lets you uh, store more items if you build these warehouses on here. Anyways, barracks are one of the first things we have unlocked here, and uh, to build a barrack, we'll just uh, select the floor here and then drag where we want the barracks to be. We don't need to be too big, because we're just going to throw a few beds in there. And um, we only have five crew for now. But, yeah, so basically, your crew has a, a sleep timer. So as they do things and activities, they'll, their sleep will slowly deplenish and then um, you'll have to let them sleep to uh, get their strength back here. So that's what the barracks are for basically. So we're going to put a few beds in there so they can rest. Uh, should we put five beds in there? How much is each bed? It's 150 credits for each bed and we've got a ton of money to start with here. It's very, very generous starting out here. Um, so I mean, I think these, these kind of things will get balanced as we go here. It is still in beta, which is kind of a balancing stage of development, I would say. So these guys are just working, there's no um, there's no timers or anything like that as far as like making it speed along or anything like that. Uh, but that's okay. It's, it's kind of got these kind of little trappings of 
something kind of like an iOS game almost. And I think this is going to be coming to iOS in the future, which I really do think this would do quite well on iOS, um, just based on the controls and everything like that, and the kind of, later on it gets a little grindy, doing missions and that kind of thing, and I think the kind of pick up and play kind of style of my iPad games might uh, do well in uh, for this, that kind of format here. But uh, yeah, it does get a little grindy towards the end where you have to do a lot of missions in order to progress. Um, but if you could just hop on with your iPad, do a couple missions, log off again, not a big deal. That, that might work quite well for this. So as you can see, one of our colonists is sleeping here as we build these beds here and uh, restoring their strength here. Um, let's click off of this. Let's go back to the search here. Um, so yeah, there's not much we can build just yet. Uh, as I was saying, we need to do missions to unlock new things. So for instance, the tech tree is right up here. So right now we have logistics, which is the warehouse, and uh, the transport. We have the living one, which is the barracks, the very simple barracks. And the next thing up is the factory. We need a research point in order to get the factory unlocked, which is uh, kitchen, smeltery, workshop, basic kitchen stuff, metal press, all kinds of stuff we can do with this. So we're going to unlock that soon here. It looks like we could unlock it now. It's only 500 credits. Okay, we unlocked it. Great. So money is the object here. Um, complete new planets to get more research points. So I think we need research points. Yeah, here we go. So research points it requires two research points and 150 credits for the next level here. This one didn't require any research points, so that's how we were able to get it right away here. The way you earn research points is by going on missions. So this tab right up here is the missions tab. Uh, there's different areas that will unlock. There's levels, uh, many, many levels. There's up to 30 levels here, it looks like. But um, we're going to start in level one here. And the level one planet is what we have unlocked here. So we're going to click this, and these are all the planets we can visit and do various things for. So this is our home world here. Um, we're not going to worry about that as yet. Uh, this little exclamation point here is saying it will unlock the next system. So when I was just back out here looking at these other planets, level two will unlock if we beat this one with the exclamation point on it. Um, do we want to dive right into that right away? There is a couple of other planets here. There is this one here, which is a bounty mission. Looks like uh, it's one research point as a reward, a random level one item, some slime, and some and some uh, credits. Um, and there's also, let's see, there's this one. Do we check this one? Oh, it's another bounty here, one research point. So we basically need two research points in order to lock, lock the next tech here. Um, should we build a factory while we're at it, though? Let's do that. Now, we don't really have any items to make yet, is the one thing about the factory. But um, we will soon. So let's put a factory out this way. Let's put it out this way. So we'll put a corridor out here again. As I mentioned, corridors are how you create new areas. We'll make that extend out so it's not um, butting up against this. We can't, this won't connect. We can, once we have a corridor going between them, they won't actually connect even if they're running right up against each other. But I think we have one block gap in there anyway, so I think it'll be okay. So did we unlock the factory here? Here it is. So we have this factory, we have a workshop, and a kitchen. Oh my god, we have a lot of stuff to do. I think the factory and workshop will go nicely to together because it's kind of the industrial area here so let's put on a workshop or let's put on the smelter first so we'll add on the smeltery here like so I don't think this also I don't think this needs to be very big as well um, we might be setting ourselves up for failure by making these rooms so small but I don't think we need to make them that big um, we can always make more rooms too so we don't have to have it all together we can have more than one smelter for instance so a metal press will do heavy metal production May contain traces of 80s hair, nice. So it's got a little humor in the game here, for sure. You can tell from the, uh, just kind of the graphic style and everything like that. It's kind of a, it's kind of a silly game. It doesn't take itself too seriously, which I like. Um, and it's got a fun way of presenting the subject matter. Of building a, a unique, uh, little base here. So kind of cool. Um, so let's let them work on that. Actually, while we're working on that, we can actually set them up with a metal press in here. So let's set that up right here. Like so. So, what it's saying here is it needs recipes. Uh, this block right here, that's what it's saying here. I think that, um, let's click off of that here. Let's click this. So, you need to pick a production recipe to start production. And we don't have any production recipes just yet. So we kind of are a little bit premature as far as building this. Um, you can add, uh, t as, add tasks to the queue here, um, but we need something to produce here first. So I think we need to do some missions next to progress a little bit further in this in order to start using this kind of thing here. So, let's do our first mission here. Let's go to uh, Aquet. We'll unlock the next system, we'll get a research point, we'll get some aluminum. Sounds good to me, and then the resources here 
Show some aluminum, some other things here. So uh, let's get into a mission and show you this aspect of it. So missions, the administrator of the secretive hospital is asking for our help. They won't mention anything about what is the problem or why they need us. All right, so we have to talk to the administrator who is over here. So basically to move your crew around, your away team here, you just click anywhere and they'll walk over to it. Uh, so let's go walk over here and talk to the uh, doctor here, Dean of Medicine. Good morning, officers. I'm glad you're here. Good morning. Your message had very little information about what is going on here. Would you please explain what are the activities of your hospital? Yes, you see, we must work with the absolute with absolute discretion. We we are the most advanced facility in the galaxy for the treatment of paper cuts. Paper cuts, huh? Absolutely, paper cuts can lead to life-threatening complications if they are not healed properly. Our clients are wealthy individuals from all over the galaxy who are willing to pay top credits for the most advanced medical facilities for curing paper cuts. Yes. Uh, this has to be some sort of prank. Yeah, I would kind of agree there. Officers, this is a very serious matter. You'll soon see why. You'll see soon why. Uh, that kind of should have been opposite. Some of our patients have a contracted a book Boratia digitalis? A very rare finger brain disease. They have become completely deranged as a result. We are in hospital, not an asylum, we, so we lack the facilities to take care of them. So finger brain disease, is this really happening? Just go to the room indicated by the coordinates and you see for yourself. Pacify them please, okay, so we're gonna mix it up in here I think. Uh, our crew is tasked with taking care of some uh, patient over here. So let's go talk to the patient. Things are getting ugly really fast here, I have a feeling though. Insane in the membrane. Hello, sir. It is perfect. Perfect. The reflection, the beauty, it glows. What is so beautiful? The pearl of the conscience. The flow of the identity. Infinite. Uh, okay. Talk to this patient here. 26433823279. Hello? I have it, I have it, I won't give it up. It's mine, it's me, I am becoming it. I will, I will. Okay. Whoa! Okay, so to attack, we just click. Basically, that's how we attack. So our little friend here, uh, just got vaporized by our crew here. We'll go back and talk to the doctor here. We used, we used discretion, I think. We just shot everything with a laser. Some things cannot be unseen. Yes, thank you for you. Careful when you handle paper. Yes, indeed. Um, so mission complete. We can leave the planet now. Um, nothing else to really do here. But basically, the, ma the main attacking is just you click. This isn't a very good example of a uh, mission here. Um, as far as how the old attacking thing works, because there's a lot more to it than just th just clicking on a guy and making him die. Uh, let's go back and do another mission here. Let's leave the planet here. So, let's see here. System Pleary has been unlocked. Let's go back out. So, the Pleary is the next system up here then. This has been unlocked. But I think we'll do another mission back at level 1 here. Because there was a couple more things we could do. Um, so, let's do a second mission here. We'll do this one here. Bounty, one research point, and a random level 1 item, and some slime. Let's do it. Complete the objectives in this planet to spawn a boss with a chance of dropping a high quality item. Alright, cool. So, now we're going to be able to demonstrate the uh, attacking a little bit better here. Because there's multiple enemies, it looks like. Multiple objectives. We have to eliminate the pirates, as it seems. So yeah, there's a lot of pirates up in here. So, down here you can see our crew members. And each crew member has a different ability. So we have a sniper kind of ability. We have a explosives expert. This guy is a... I think he wants to say this is like a power-up um, spell or something like that, kind of. Kind of another support role. These last kind of three are support and these two are attacking, I think, is how it works. This guy is a healer, and this guy replenishes our energy. So as we attack things, our energy will drain down as we use our abilities and that kind of thing. I don't want to get too close to this guy just yet. Bring him over. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, take him out. Took a little bit of damage there for one of our guys here, but we'll just carefully move in here and deal with them as they come. We don't want to get overwhelmed, I think, so we wanted to not get too close to the whole situation here. Now, this will be a good spot for a, a grenade if we can get it. There we go. And we'll start taking these guys here. And as you can see, they oftentimes will drop little items for us to pick up here. So we're going to get some of that going. Here is another guy who's all alone here. We'll take him out. Cool. So we're getting some all, all kinds of loot here. We have to eliminate the sergeant. Looks like there's more uh, enemies over this way. So, so far so good. Oh, there we go. Okay, oh wow, this guy's, this guy's badass. Okay, let's take care of these guys first. 
Let's use our sniper on this guy if we can. Oh, he's out of range. Oh, this guy wants to go too. Jeez. The local, uh, local population here is uh, taking us out. Okay, here we go. Let's get this guy. This is the sergeant. He's the mini boss here. Ooh, our guy's taking heavy damage. Get him. Get this guy too. Oh my god, we're gonna die. Okay, we didn't lose anybody. We didn't lose anybody. And we got uh, a gun, it looks like. And yeah, we got a gun here. The one, power 75. So this is an active power, basically. It's a, oh, oh, another guy to mix it up. Can't just sit here and talk about everything. Gotta pay attention to what's going on here. But yeah, we'll go through that in a minute here. So we have to destroy these command posts, it looks like. Oh, this guy wants to go. We should probably take care of these guys first here. And we'll uh, heal our guys here. One down, two down, three down. Oh, here we go. Here's the boss. Eliminate the commander. Okay. Oh, we're out of energy here. Oh, let's do a uh, five here. Replenish our guys. Where are we going here exactly? Come on, guys. Come on back. Come on back. Oh, we lost one. Oh, we got him. Okay, never mind. I thought we almost lost one of our guys, but, uh, our characters will not die if you do lose them in the in the in combat here. They'll just uh, go back to the station, I believe, to recuperate. But um, it's not something you want to do off too often because as you as you lose guys, you can see that these are pretty well balanced as far as like abilities. And if you lose your support, for instance, with this guy wants really wants to kill us, take him out. Jeez. Um, as you lose some of your uh, your guys, you get less abilities to use to protect yourself. So it, it if one falls, you all start to fall too. Let's gonna take a look, 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 a little look around here, see if there's anything else we wanna, you know, get or kill, or... These things are hostile, apparently. Get some more uh, resources and that kind of thing. So, okay, let's head back out of the planet here. Alright, so, now we'll head back to the colony. And see what's been done here. So now, we should have unlocked... Something else here? Let's take a look here, quick. I think if we go into, uh... Yes, we can unlock the next thing here. We can unlock the hall or service one. Service one, I think, is retail shops, and hall looks like it's a uh, commissary. So we'll uh, decide which one we want to do here. Oh, there's duty free here as well, which is more shops. So that's something to consider. Um, yeah, the other thing we might need, though, soon is uh, we might need more storage because this is only this is the maximum number of slots we can have. So actually, I think we want to build on, before we go today, I think we want to build on another room here. And we're going to build a warehouse out of this. And this is going to be storage area. Doesn't need to be too big. But we'll build this onto here. Um, and this will let us, basically, if we add these pallets to our warehouse, we can store four more things in our inventory here. And we can actually clean up some of this stuff here. Uh, let's see, this is an extra health boost. This is a level one active power. Let's take a look at our characters here. So our characters will level up as we go here too. Uh, this guy's working on something right now. He's at 99 sleep. Uh, he is level one, but he gets little bonuses as he increases and he gets uh, new new things. So he gets cravings, he gets objects, he gets um, bonuses, and his combat is his weapons over here. So right now he has the level three, level three rifle. We can switch that for the one, which is less power, better cooldown time, um, and less energy, so we could use it more often, um, I think is the idea there. So, that's something to consider. Um, medium powered fast weapon, and this is a good strategist knows that if she has to pick only one weapon, it would be this rifle. So, uh, the one sounds like a cool weapon, I don't, it's not as much power as what we have right now, but the fact that it's only 20 energy and only has a 2 seconds cooldown time, makes it so we can fire a little bit faster. Uh, and the range on it, it's a one, se it's a 7 meter line, so we can actually fire it farther. So it might not be a bad one to... Let's equip it. Let's equip it. Let's uh, let's go... Um, destroy the current and implant the selected one. Alright, so we have the one as a special skill now for our, one of our characters here. Let's take a look. Do we get anything else here that we can use? No, we didn't really. Um, the other extra health thing we got is not quite as good as what we have here already. Because uh, there was a health upgrade. Yeah, passive health upgrade, but we already have that. So we don't need to worry about that. Close this. All right, let's go back to the colony here quick and see how they did. All right, so we'll put in a couple, uh, nope, I don't want to do that. I want to put it like right in the corner here. A couple, put a couple pallets in here. They're 100 apiece. Yeah, they take actually a little bit of time to build. Um, 
I don't want to have this selected anymore. Yeah, get out of there. So now that we add those two on there, we got more four more slots for each one of those. And another thing we can do with this is build a recycling plant here. So this recycler will destroy items and get credits back. So like for instance, this health here we don't want, we can uh, destroy it and we'll get something good out of the process here, hopefully. So let's get that going. They're gonna build that quickly. Cool. And then we can go into the recycler and let's say we wanna get rid of this here. We can recycle that and we got titanium. So we now we get this titanium back out of there. Uh, which is fine, I don't know what we'll use that for but it might be useful down the road here. So I think that's gonna do it for this first episode of The Space Shoals. I hope you found this a little bit interesting. If you did like the game, or if you're interested in it, please let me know via comments or likes or anything like that. That's a new series, so those kind of things are very, very important as far as uh, keeping it going. Uh, I plan to do at least a few episodes of this, and maybe I'll revisit it as it develops. It's still in beta, and they'll have new versions and that kind of thing coming out. So maybe I'll kind of, you know, revisit this occasionally after we do a few episodes of it and see how far we can get. Uh, anyways, I've been Modi. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll be back for another episode of the Spatials very soon. Have a good night.